Welcome! As everyone know, if you saw my video last week uh, regarding these damn zombie vultures and the change they've gone through in Alpha 19, you know that they are, well, as you can see, they are ferocious. They are fast, they're ferocious, and uh, together with the rest of the zombies, they are just a pain if you're on a vehicle. So trying to, try, trying to drive away is almost impossible, to be honest. But uh, as you can see, here I have 16 concurrent zombies, and we're getting quite a few of the zombie spawning, and we're getting quite a few of the vultures as well. And if I do a kill, all, all dead, you'll see that we quickly get new zombie vultures that are spawning, that are coming into, while well, they're swooping in to basically kill me. And, uh, well, can we do something with that? That was one of the questions that struck me. Can we use this mechanic to our benefit? And that's what this video is going to be all about. We're going to take these vultures and we're going to totally blend them and shred them and take the resources, which is feathers and rotted meat. And uh, I think you got to get some bones as well. So we're going to be doing that because that's going to be awesome. So uh, keep watching and you'll see how I make this zombie vulture blender. And of course, if you enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe, leave a like and ring that notification bell. And why not join me on Discord and Twitter. And welcome back. We are back here and it's not uh, Blood Mood Hall time again. It's a little bit overcast, but you know, it is what it is. So I built this one in a previous video and uh, go check that out if you want to see how it works and everything. But what I was going to do, I was going to take this as a base and uh, expand it into being a zombie vulture blender. Now there are two things you want to have done. You, you're going to get about, I don't know, whether it's a half or three quarters of the zombies are going to be vulture eventually, which means that well, you still get some normal zombies that you want to get rid of, that you will need to kill, because otherwise they're going to kill you. And that means that, well, unless you want to see your base trashed, having some kind of a killing corridor, or actually just a fall down corridor, would be perfect, because it means that you can be safely somewhere else, meaning here, hopefully in safety at least, and the zombies, the ones on foot at least, will be running and trying to get to you, but they'll sort of just spin around or get killed. Because the more of those that get killed, the more of the zombie vultures you actually get as well. So we're going to do both. I'm going to use this kind of setup to kill all the regular zombies. And I'm going to use a blending technique in order to blend up all the zombie vultures. So what I have done here is simply expanding this platform. Make sure you do have enough of uh, pillars and everything underneath because you don't want to have the random zombie breaking everything as uh, well as you're playing here. So uh, based on this, now I'm going to, let's see, I'm probably going to make it a little bit bigger here just to have a little bit more space to work with. It doesn't actually have to be really big. I made a small little variant just to test some of these concept that was much smaller than this. Um, but having a little bit of extra space doesn't hurt. So with that, let's see, let's put another pillar here. Basically just a platform. Platforms are good. Platforms are the basics of any very successful base build. Now I, I'm going to put in place, uh, actually, just use these boxes as well. Let's put these ones around so that we have a wall. Important, you need to make sure you have walls because zombie vultures will be swooping in, but they could be coming from the side as well. So don't just do something that is, uh, let's see here, I can probably do something like that might, question is not gonna work. Hmm. Let's not complicate that too much. Let's actually just do it this way and something like that. So you have a, well, so they think they have a path in, but they don't actually. So we're going to block that off with holes as well. Holes, as you might know, are basically seen as transparent blocks. So let me just build up a little bit around here and uh, where we'll then be putting in, where are my poles? Here are my poles. So we're going to put in, uh, let's see, copy rotation. We don't want something like something like this will probably good to give us a sort of an open path and we're going to also put in a door so we can get in and out uh, like this i like that r you can just uh, re-rotate backwards and then we're gonna just build up like this and uh, yeah we could do that that way as well 
make sure you make it slightly higher than you would normally do because part of the reason what I'm going to do here and where is it my trusted bicycle we're actually going to put down a bicycle here now what happens during the blood moon horde is that if the game or the zombie horde depending how you want to talk about it uh, will detect that you are on a vehicle if you are on a vehicle it will say hey you are trying to escape so we are going to spawn in these crazy vultures and use them to kill you and uh, it doesn't actually matter if you are moving on a vehicle as long as you are on a vehicle so this is going to be enough to lure them into well if i am sitting like this nice and perfect right right looks pretty cool and that's enough to actually lure in the zombies because that makes them think that you are trying to escape so we're going to have that space we have this space and let me see i might want to i'm going to move the generator in as well because i'm a little bit concerned about vomit that could be occurring but with that we are going to also put in and let me see a bunch of these ones come on up open it yeah that's fine we're gonna do oh all right fine that one doesn't want to be there so let's uh hmm, hmm. The rotation now we want to be upside down just give us a little bit more space let's do that and something like that so we have something to anchor these ones on so i can open them downwards is uh what you want to do if I do, I think, yep, they'll go this way. Oh, copy rotation. That. All right. So now we have a way to open and close, and why will be evident uh, fairly soon. But we're also going to be doing. Let me see here. I'm going to sort of guide them in a little bit. Not terribly much, but just a little bit. And then we are going to put down my favorite. Oh, is this a little bit too big? Uh. All right, you might want to make this uh, three by three because I'm actually not covering all every place here. It's not a uh, hundred percent needed, but it does help. Actually, can you see? I am going to put this one like that, and this one like that. You don't actually need that many. One would work. A few extra help uh, just in case any get degraded when the zombies you'll see that later on um, it's a little bit difficult to to show during the hole but the, the zombies will swoop in and they might actually pass through these blades to get down to here but then these ones will generally uh, get them and even if they're standing up here bashing a little bit generally after a while they will lift up again and they'll be hit again so just having more blade traps just helps to just slaughter more of them which of course is really what you want let me see can i do uh, like that and i can do like that same here just to make it a little bit more rounded off and here i could nothing there but there i could as well so now you sort of see how the general shape and it's actually really simple but it's super crazily effective actually and uh, let me move the generator in and then i'll hook everything up as well Okay, what I've done now, I put in the generator here and I'm going to hook it up a few different ways. So I'm going to go back and put switches. So I'll put that on here and make sure we have the electric fence. It's not strictly needed, but it doesn't hurt. It will help to did that do it. Yes, it did. And then we're going to have a second one that is going to be hitting these ones. The blade traps in the front. Again, these ones are just to kill the regular zombies that are coming. Make sure we hook up this switch as well and then we have the last one and this is for these ones so we're going to be hooking all this up as well so that all these ones can be switched on using this same little electrical switch now of course whenever i make these builds and i highlight this all on and off as well i am in creative because it's a lot faster to build sometimes i do get comments of people saying that hey i don't like this because it's not meant to, uh, it's not built in survival and the problem with that commentary uh, for those of you who are listening and actually thinking that way is that the end result is the same if i was doing this in survival this video would be probably about 30 to 40 hours long to 
record and then all the hours of actually editing of course then i would, I would have to show 30 and 40 hours of gameplay for when i start when i start and start the game when i start the new map and slowly get my level slowly get my food set up my farm set up in a temporary base fight a few blood moon holes etc because i would have to show every single moment of me gathering resources and perking up and getting experience and what's the point because in the end you get the same exact result this is all survival blocks. It's just that I put them down and created because it means I don't have to put them down in wet concrete, wait for it to dry, then upgrade them and wait for it to dry, which takes time. This is a lot faster and makes the video a lot more punchy as opposed to being 30 or 40 hours long. So end result, focus on the end result. Don't focus on the fact that I'm in uh, creative and flying up because of course you could do this. You could frame up here and jump up here and connect everything. It just takes a lot longer than me just flying through the blocks here. The end result is the same. That's what you should be focusing on. So let me do this now. Let me... Uh, refuel it and this way so if i want to do electric fence it's on these ones on and let me just show you that with uh, bo farrell hello bo oh i turn off the ai and you see he's gonna walk up he's gonna get hit by the play trap and he's gonna die which is what we wanted right oh oh yeah i think it fell down and now we want the top and this is something that's still broken. Lights, pump in, fix it. There should be lights on there. Um, and now all these ones should be spinning nicely, right? Looks pretty good. Looks like it would uh, be blending and shredding all the vultures that come there. And we can actually, I can actually show that. So let me do, I might have some issues with these ones actually. And the vultures, I'm not sure. Uh, when I made a test, I didn't actually use poles here. But uh, if I do... F5, I hit P and then I hit uh, bracket. I am out of the, my body experience kind of thing. You see, I'm still in here. And let me try to spawn in some vultures. Now it's a little bit difficult to spawn them in and the, I don't think I can. Can I do that? I can, oh, actually I can. All right, I didn't realize I could. So let's see, can I? All right, so they're not attacking me because I am uh, Full health. Uh, let me do a Molotov, which is a really good way actually of uh, hurting yourself. I wouldn't recommend it. And then we... Hello. And let's not be in gold, uh, gold, uh, God mode. So now I've taken damage. And that should help with just luring in the... Come on. See, here comes one. Oh. See how fast he got slaughtered. Did we get a couple more coming in? Second one dead. Oh, he just bounced off. And there he died. Now I am, okay, no longer bleeding, but you saw the vultures that I had. I get a bunch of them. See, as they try to swoop in, they try to get me, and the blade traps just slaughter them. And this is how you actually do it. Now, let me go back into my body. Yeah, these ones are pretty much done. Now you, this last bit, you want to make sure you do have some weapons ready. But what you basically do is that you basically just do something like that. Is he dead? Yes, he he's just a little bit stuck there. And then you open and close this one to empty it. Come on, can I get the last one? Hello. Alright, these are stuck a little bit in a weird way. And then you get up your trusted knife. And you basically just skin them. So you get feathers, a little bit of experience, which isn't really the big thing. But you get rotten meat. And rotten meat is really good for when you are trying to... Oh, I'm full inventory. This bone and bones as well. Ooh, even better, actually. Let me, uh, let me see. What can I get rid of? Uh, water. Get rid of water. Let's get the bone. Bone is really good for glue. So this is going to be a, probably one of the easiest way to get bone and thereby glue for when you're playing survival. Because, well, every one of these ones will give you maybe one bone, maybe two bones. Let me see. How many of them can I get here? Two. Oh, that was actually a lot of them. Okay, let me see here. Two. Maybe four. Wow. That's uh, quite a lot of bones per each. And uh, you see how easy this is. Of course, this is I spawned in the vulture. So let's uh, 
try this out during a blood moon haul. But before we do that, let me keep this one here. Let me just dump this a little bit of space. And let's go out to just to check the amount of damage. See, this one is taking a little bit of damage, reflect the damage from when it killed the vulture. This one a little bit more. But you see, it's going to have to be a lot of vultures before it actually uh, destroys these ones because I think it goes down to 1500 before they stop spinning. And yeah, this has been, you know, just a few points each. These one are probably going to take a little bit more simply because they're going to be all the runner sombers. But I think it should be okay because you also have the this one at the electric fence that also creates a little bit of damage on the zombies and at worst you can just run out and just repair them in even during the horde which i don't think should be a major issue but uh, let's uh let me put away that and uh, let me get a blood moon horde running isn't this nice out for a little bit of a bicycle yeah maybe not all right so i have 16 concurrent zombies you saw they immediately spawned in the vultures because well they hate me and i am sitting on my bicycle and that's why they're spawning in i have not turned on the blade traps above so everything is taking a bit of damage and now we should be hearing it and we see all these dead ones so let me see i can't actually uh detach the camera while i am on let me see if i do this oh look at this it's already totally filled with vultures here you can see how many it is already just full of them wow that looks really really amazing and uh, the rest of the zombies are spawning in now because I'm off my uh, bicycle. It's going to be here, which is fine. So let's uh, again do this. Get on. And as these ones outside get killed, they will be spawning in a lot more vultures. Well, you already see that above. And you can hear it. There they go. Let's uh, see if we can drop in a bunch of these ones to... Uh, loot wow this <laughs> there's just so many of them look at this i'm a little bit concerned about opening everything up because all the 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 some well let me let's do that anyway all right all right let's see here what we got if you're multiple people i mean come on this is this is crazy right if you're multiple people you could actually have uh, one or two sit oh hey all right so these ones could occur but if you have multiple people, you can have one sitting on the vehicle, two sitting on the vehicle, and one just uh, out doing the shredding here. Because while I'm shredding, I'm not sitting on the vehicle, which means that uh, they will not spawn in all the vultures now. It took so long because I was talking and wasn't skinning. And of course, higher level skinning knives or spiked knuckles or whatever will allow you to skin this a lot faster. But it's, it's basically going to be so many that uh, you're probably never going to be having an issue with rotten meat or feathers or bones for that matter and let's get these last ones and there might be eh, not many and let's get back on the vehicle here hello and oh okay let's take care of him and then get back on the vehicle and you immediately hear zombie vultures are being spawned in because the regular zombies are being killed out there isn't this just awesome <laughs> I, I think it's it's crazy amount of stuff that you're getting and let's quickly do this yep it's full again with the amount of uh, vultures here that are coming in oh this is just crazy you could do some of that previously with the, the, the vultures by simply shredding them but if they weren't actually spawning specifically like they are now, before they would just... Now you'd get the occasional vultures because, well, vultures spawn as part of the Blood Moon Horde. But look at this. Every time I open up, I don't know how many I get down. 10 or something. And this is just going to be bones and bones and bones for all night long. And it's never going to end. I mean, you see how much I'm getting? It's, you know, it's, it's going to fill me up really fast. Rotting flesh you need, but it's not terribly. But specifically the bones. Bones should turn into glue, which means you're going to have duct tape. Well, you're never going to run out of duct tape. Feathers, all right, for making your... Can I even get on? Come on, let me get on. Yes, for making arrows and everything. But I, I wish there was another use for the feathers because you're going to get, probably during a haul, thousands and thousands and thousands. And just to uh, show here a little bit, right, uh, 
This one is taking a little bit of damage. Go out and repair. This one might be taking a little bit of damage. Go out and repair. These ones will be taking a little bit of damage as well as they're spinning. I can see. I probably can. Oh, I can. If I jump the right way. Yep. There, I managed to repair that one and that one as well. Actually, this one are really good. You can see they've not taken much damage at all. 72 for all those dead vultures. And that's going to continue the whole whole night. And, uh, well, you don't even have to cycle. You just have to pretend. So, what I would say is that the mechanic of having vultures spawn in order to kill you on vehicles is a good way, <clears throat> or maybe good way is the uh, exaggeration, is one way to make it a challenge to simply use vehicles to avoid the Blood Moon Horde. It's maybe not the best way, and I, can, I can't even get out here. Uh, it's maybe not the best way because, as you see, as soon as the Thumbpims do something like that, we can take that and basically abuse it. And uh, basically means we have a never-ending supply, rotten meat, feathers, and more importantly, bones. Of course, they could remove the bones and the feathers and the rotten meat from the vultures, but then, you know, again, it's that's maybe not the best way of dealing in it. So most of the zombies will definitely be be trying to get here through the front. I have 16 concurrents, so there's going to be quite a few of them. There are going to be some bashing around at the bottom of the escape. There are some ways around that that I'm going to showcase as well to avoid the zombies bashing there. But this video is simply to show well, the amount of vultures you are getting in. And oh, look at this. <laughs> bones for days. Can you eat the bones? Do you eat the glue? Can you do something else with the glue? Well, I know this is how I'm going to be stocking up on all my glue and my duct tape. Oh, something blew up. No, don't destroy my base. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, zombie vulture blender and I'll catch you again next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the Vedic community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.